Well, hello. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a super easy and great looking Tori gate that you can use in your various Japanese style builds. As you can see, we have two variations here. The one on the right is using the mangrove blocks, and the one on the left is using the acacia blocks. Both look pretty good. However, I would recommend using the mangrove style one over on the right, mainly because depending on the texture pack that you use, sometimes the acacia wood can actually look pretty bad. Uh, so we will show you at the end of how to actually build this. I'm gonna turn a texture pack on that I normally use, and you'll see how bad the acacia wood actually looks. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and show you how to build this. So here is what you are going to need. You're gonna need 30 mangrove trapdoors. You're gonna need 25 stripped mangrove wood. You're gonna need 22 mangrove stairs. You're gonna need six mangrove slabs, nine mangrove fences, three, or sorry, two mangrove fence gates, eight dark prismarine blocks, six dark prismarine slabs, two dark prismarine stairs, three lanterns, four stone buttons, two polished deep slate walls, two polished deep slate blocks, and eight crimson trap doors. You also need two throwaway blocks, and for this I'll just use two cobblestone. Go ahead and start with your two polished deep slate, your eight crimson trap doors, your two uh, throwaway blocks, or cobblestone in this case, your four stone buttons, your three lanterns, your two dark pris prismarine stairs, your six dark prismarine slabs, your eight dark prismarine blocks, your fence gates, seven of the mangrove fences, six of your mangrove slabs, your full 25 mangrove wood, and we'll start with that. We'll come back for the rest afterward. So to start off, you're going to take your two polished deep slate. You're going to place one down, and you're going to leave one, two, three, four, five spaces, and place down your second one. Those will now be gone. Take your stripped mangrove wood and you're going to build up from each deep slate block seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From the first top one down one, you're going to build a beam going the five across and you're going to extend it out by one. At the top, go ahead and place your two throwaway blocks. And then your remaining four stripped mangrove woods are going to be from the top right here and extend out two. Do the same thing on the other side. And then you can get rid of your two throwaway blocks and your mangrove wood will now be gone. Go ahead and go back down. Take your crimson trap doors and place them around the base of your deep slate blocks. are now gone. Next you're going to go ahead and take your mangrove fences and in the center on the bottom place one and the two corners on the same level place one and then on the outside corners place one as well as right above that one. And That'll be your first seven fences now gone. Take your three lanterns and you're going to place it on the bottom of the middle fence and then on the two outside ones on the bottom level. Your lanterns are now done. Go ahead and take your stone buttons and right next to the top fence, place them on the mangrove wood on both sides and on both sides. Your stone buttons are now done. Take your two fence gates and place them on the same level as your lanterns between the two fence gates, or the two mangrove fences, sorry. Take your eight dark prismarine blocks, go the seven in between on the top beam, and then your final one right on top in the middle. You're gonna take your six dark prismarine slabs, place two right next to that block you placed, leave a space, and then place two more. Do the same thing on the other side, leave a space, Two more. Take your two 
markers are in stairs, and while facing the inside, place them in the two spaces that you left. So you should have something that looks like this now. And then finally, take your mangrove slabs, and you're going to place in the center on the bottom of your dark prismarine one slab, leave a space, one slab, leave a space, one slab, and then do the same thing on the other side. So you should now have something that looks like this. Let's go ahead and get our remaining items from the chest. Starting from the bottom, you're going to place an upside down step on the inside over here. You're going to take your two, tra two trap doors and place them right next to those steps, as well as underneath the two upside down steps. You're then going to take two stairs, place them above where you just placed those two trap doors facing inside. So one, two. So now you should have something that kind of looks like this. You're going to cap off the ends of the beams with an upside down step. In between these slabs, you're going to take trap doors. Place them down like this and do the same thing on the other side. While you're here, take your stairs again. And next to the outside slabs, place stairs facing inside. Do the same thing. On these steps that you just placed, place an upstairs, upside down steps next to them. Do the same thing on the other side. And finally, on both edges on top, we're going to place one stair facing inside over here, one on top of that one that you extended out, and then finally, like that. So you should have something that looks like this side. And then rinse and repeat on the other side. And now your stairs are done. Take your two deep slate walls and place them on the top of the two farthest upside down steps and then take your remaining fences and place them on those walls. That is now complete. And then finally, this part is a little bit tricky but it's pretty easy once you get the understanding of it. You're going to place from this upside down step, so the one that are outside from these final ones, you're going to place one down next to it. And then you're going to place another one down right on top of that. So if you're in survival mode, you might need to use, uh, you know, blocks, you know, to get up top. Uh, but in order to place a trap door on top of another one, you just move down, hold shift, and then you can place another one right on top of a trap door without it actually opening. So you just have to hold shift while you place down a trap door on top of that one. And then you're going to do the same thing for all of these upside down steps. So you should have something that looks like this there. And finally, on this inside step right here facing this way, you're gonna take trap door, put it on top of that step. So you have this kind of little arcway looking thing or semicircle right here. And then do the same thing on all of the other ones. You have something like that looks like this and then finally to finish off the last two trap doors which you should have two more of place them on the inside steps that should finish up your Tory gate build so as i was explaining earlier oh my god we're not done yet i'm silly you actually still have or, or eight more because <laughs> I forgot to put them over here. I'm silly. So you're actually going to have eight more left and you're going to place them first under the stone block. You're going to skip a block and then do the same thing on the other side. And this now will be your last eight trap doors. I cannot believe I forgot those ones right there. I am silly and now your trap doors are now done. And the build is complete. <laughs> I should have made that a blue for real. Anyway, so what I 
was explaining about before is, as you can see, the acacia wood looks pretty good right now. However, if we turn on our texture pack, which I use the Mizuno 16 craft, you're going to see that the acacia wood does not look that great. Because it turns it into more of a wooden type feel. And as you can see, the acacia trap doors are just like blank wood. And it gives like the rest of the acacia wood this weird gray wooden texture on it. So as you can see, it doesn't look that great. Uh, the fences also look kind of funky. However, it looks uh, or keeps, you know, the kind of same look on the mangrove uh, ones. So it still looks, you know, pretty decent. You will have these, uh, you know, kind of black, um, I guess, handlebars on the trap doors, but it's fine, especially from a distance. And even close up, it actually looks kind of neat because it looks like kind of flag holders. Uh, so it really doesn't look that bad. So that's why I was mentioning, you know, to keep with the mangrove look. Otherwise, this one just looks pretty bad. And as you can see on the other side, it looks pretty bad too. Wait a minute. What's that? Huh? Why is there a sign there? Oh. Please like, subscribe, and comment other build ideas. Hmm. Well, I mean, if the sign says it, I guess you got to do it. So. <laughs> Yeah, so please like, subscribe, and comment for other build ideas. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Bye.